Hello Crypto World, it's Crypto Rocco here and today we're talking about Binance. If you are in the cryptocurrency markets guys, I'm sure you've heard of Binance. Binance is one of the key players in the market. They've got an exchange, they've got a coin and they they have a massive say on what goes in the cryptocurrency world and they're fairly new and they've, de they've done really well for themselves and they've been quite good for the cryptocurrency markets. So before I get into this video, guys, I'd just like to say, please subscribe to our channel. I do videos on cryptocurrency news, breaking news, trading signals, trading tips, technical analysis, the whole lot. I just want to give you guys the best information on cryptocurrency and keep you guys safe in the crazy world of crypto and internet of money. So, yes, let's get into this video, guys. So, Binance is one of the only coins that's been going up, or one of the few coins that's been going up. The market in the past few hours have been going down. If you watch my previous video on Bitcoin and price prediction and the death cross and all the technical analysis that I went into in my last video I talked about the critical state uh, the levels that they're in it could go up the, the Bitcoin is in the price is, is in a range now and the next few days will tell us a lot about what's going on if unless there's news coming out the next few days are going to be key for whether it's a bull run or whether um, we dip again to the low levels. So again, I'm not going into details, guys. If you want that information, watch my previous video on Bitcoin price prediction. So Binance, guys, it's been going up massively recently. Again, it's going up again. Um, um, today's gone up massively again. So the, the key thing that I'd like to talk about Binance is, guys, um, they're fairly new and what they've done in the in the past couple of months in a half a year or so is, is brilliant and they've literally almost taken over the cryptocurrency cryptocurrency world which is which is good to know and, and they're good players so I'm going to talk in detail about all the news that's caused all the price increases but I'll just give you a quick overview so this is when they uh, released information about uh, by, uh, creating their own blockchain and decentralized exchange and that's when it m went up massively and then again there's some fodder on Binance about um there's bit there are some hacking attempts and a phishing scam. I did a video, uh, I've done a video on it when it happened as soon as it happened, and that caused a bit of crash in the cryptocurrency markets. But the way they dealt with it was great. I'll talk about it again in detail. And then recently, Japan regulations have been causing some issues and made Binance move to Malta. And then also, they've come out news with um adding more coins and adding crypto and fiat pairings, which would be great for the cryptocurrency market. Um, and again, Binance, like I said, is, is the, one of the biggest exchanges. The biggest exchange currently is the most popular exchange. It used to be Bittrex and you know Bitfinex and MTGOX going back in the days. But currently, Binance is the number one. When you talk to people, they they always talk about trading on Binance. I wanted to do this video earlier, guys, but it's it's lot it's it's not as quick to do a video. So I've released a trading signal on Binance. It wasn't uh, at the bottom before it went up. I think it was in the middle of his first hike when I released this this trading signal, and I made some good money. And and like I've said, Binance is one of the coins I'm most bullish on. So if you want again, if you want uh, to stay up to date with the latest information, guys, you can follow me on on social media, on Twitter at Rockstar Crypto, or even on Instagram. Um. So the main news, guys, again, I'm not going to read the article. I'll just do a quick overview of what they're trying to do. So, again, Binance is not just an exchange or a coin. They're trying to build a whole ecosystem and a community, which is what I like. I didn't pay too much attention on Binance, but in, recently I've paid a lot of attention to Binance. And I'll say, I, I, must, I must admit, I like what I see. So they've got, you know, Binance Labs, Blockchain Technology Incubator, Binance Info, and many other many other components that they're trying to work on. The by far the biggest is one, I'll read this one, after extensively researching decentralized exchange frameworks and analyzing existing implementations, they think they can improve uh, the, the trading experience that they can give to the customers. Currently, the technology wouldn't allow a fully decentralized exchange, which would be able to cope with the transactions and the speed and the level of service that they want. But in the future, maybe they can, but their plan is to work to have like a centralized and a decentralized exchange which is a step in the right directions and that's why they have decided to officially launch the development of Binance Change and it's going to Binance Chain which is going to be a public blockchain with Binance Coin in the middle of it so again it's brilliant news guys and if they can deliver guys it would be big news it will give Binance Coin an intrinsic value which a lot of the coins out there don't so in in the future most of the coins won't exist and um, it's just picking the right coins that exist that will be the future you know google facebook or um the bigger bigger coins but binance it will give binance an intrinsic value because you know it's cheaper trading fees 
people will be using Binance and the amount of coins that, 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 that they've added and the popularity of the exchange, Binance will have an intrinsic value. And again, just the way they've gone about it, the team, which is great. And that's something that I really like about Binance. Um, one thing I always do when I'm looking up for coins is look 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 at their team. Who is trying to deliver? Is it a good team? Is it a bad team? So the CEO of Binance is very vocal. He's always on social media and keeping us up to date, which is something that I quite like. If you watch my Litecoin video, I wasn't happy with the communication with Litepay because the we weren't the fans. The team wasn't up uh, keeping us up to date as much. Where for Binance, they've been really good guys. Um, this guy, the CEO, has worked in Bloomberg's trade trade books. He was like a um, trading or coding pro prodigy and um, he's worked in um, teams in you know New Jersey London Tokyo and um, he's done he's done quite well and again he let he quit all that job and he, he created one of the companies with the fastest high frequency trading systems for brokers again I'm not going to read it all guys but do look him up he seems like a very good good guy to follow i've watched a video of him on youtube again this watching this video and listening to him listening to speak listening him speak was great i felt like i could he was a genuine person again i'm always giving my honest honest opinion guys um and I would definitely say that he seems like a genuine guy. In my Verge video, I said, you know, I've got concerns with Verge, with Binance, it looking looking like upsides and positives for me. So again, this is another article which talks about the, the main article that I said. Again, always try to read at the source. So this is the main article that they've released. These uh, articles are on that topic. So again, you can read these articles, but always try to read the, the uh, read the, the article at the source because that will give you information which is not fabricated. And there's been a lot of <laughs> fud going on, you know, when someone's really big, people try to take them down. There's been attacks on Binance. Again, this might sound bad. Um, did a video on Binance hacked, but it Binance didn't get hacked. The, the, there was an attempt at hacking. Some of the accounts had issues, phishing, phishing scams attacks. But the way Binance dealt with it was great. Again, this gave me confidence on the Binance team. They're here to stay. They're not here to kind of do a wishy-washy job. They're here to do a good job, and they seem ethical to me as well. Again, I'm making big claims. Make up your own mind. Um, uh, so I'm not, I'm not telling people to invest all their money on Binance. It's just a good coin to invest in, and, and one of the coins I've invested in so they've offered a bounty on anyone that could help them with dealing with the March 7th attacks and also they've said that furthermore they've got uh, allocated bit Binance um, for future attacks 10 million dollars to stop future attacks which tells you they're trying to keep the community safe so more recently the issues have been with Japan uh, regulations so there's been a lot of um, letters and FUD going on again he's been quite up to date he's been keeping the fans and, and the Binance customers up to date with what's going on which is again great I want to know what's going on because uh, if I've got money invested in my Binance I want to know what's going on and uh, CZ on Twitter, guys, he's he keeps us up to date with what's going on, so it's all, it's all good. He's dealt with it quite well, and the decision he's made to deal with the regulation is run. He's, he's, he's left Japan, he's heading to Malta. Um, I'll let you guys make up your mind on it. The way I see it is people could look at it negatively, like he's leaving Japan, you know, one of the bigger countries in the world, and going to a smaller country in Malta. Are they going to do something dodgy, or are they going to still be good? I think I'm looking at it from a positive view, guys, because going to Malta is going to allow him to work with the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister would obviously, the the regulators in Malta is a it's a cryptocurrency friendly country, um as people say it's a crypto nation if you want to call it that. But the Prime Minister would work with Binance and it would allow the technology to develop the cryptocurrency markets to develop. So that's a good thing. So they can work on their decentralized exchange, develop Binance blockchain and all that uh, whilst they're in Malta. And you know when when it's more developed, perhaps Japan, UK, America, and all those countries uh, will um, adopt a more developed technology because blockchain is at a very preliminary stage and there's there's a lot of bad people out there that are trying to take take our money from us so that's why we've got to educate ourselves you know don't just learn from my youtube channel it's great that you are but do your own research because there are a lot of people out there p probably scamming and and you know um not looking out for our best interest so we've got to do our own research make up our own mind um, again, these are another article, Binance Decentralized Exchange to list almost any coins, so they're going to add more coins to it. Um, 
this article again this is uh, just talks about going to Malta after the regulator warning uh, the main reason I think the price have gone up today um, in the past couple of hours uh, is because this fiat to crypto option this is good this is big news guys because currently the whole market is dependent on Bitcoin if Bitcoin goes down the market goes down because the, the entry to buying other coins is through Bitcoin guys so if we have fiat to Binance coin, fiat to Ethereum, you can buy Ethereum and like coin, but fiat to um, V Chain is another coin that I like, you know, for example, or fiat to Gift or fiat to, you know, those co are smaller coins, and um, would allow the market to be less dependent on Binance. So currently, we need to have a very strong eye on Binance if you're trading. If you're a holder, guys, you just invest in good coins. If you believe in cryptocurrency, invest in good coins, you will be okay in the long term. But if you want to trade, um, I myself enjoy trading. I've got trading experience. I love trading with a smaller part of my portfolio. So I need to keep a very good eye on bitcoin so binance guys and um, again it's a very strong it's a, it's a very strong hold for medium to long term with with the coin burns coming up it will increase scarcity which will it should hold you'd think that would increase the price so it's a good coin to invest in will i invest now um again I, i'm not this is not a trading signal this is not financial advice you guys invest when you can obviously it's just jumped up massively and usually when it goes up massively it consolidates so i'll let you guys make up your mind and with bitcoin at a critical stage we don't know if it's going to be a great short term buy but in the mid term to long term i'm a massive fan of binance so Again, I wanted to do this video earlier, but I wanted to get this message out there because it's a very um, good coin that I'm very bullish on in 2018. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, please like this video. It helps to show this video to more people and educate more people, and it allows to get this video more exposure. So please smash that like button, guys. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel as well and share it with your friends, family. I will be doing another Litecoin video, uh, Litecoin giveaway, guys. So if you want to be in chance to win, some like coins guys subscribe to my channel and share this video to with your friends and i will see you guys tomorrow with another great video thank you very much